guess what? The United States Department of State is ready to pull chocks, get out of town, and they kind of screwed up. No, but seriously. So yesterday, the Department of State accidentally tweeted something out and then called it an error. Let me read it to you. This is the final message for American citizens who wish to depart Kabul. American citizens who wish to remain in Afghanistan should be prepared to arrange their departure without assistance from the U.S. Oh, not a good moment for the Department of State. Now, clearly, they had to very quickly delete this. Unfortunately, the Internet is forever. Now for the commentary. They jump the gun. It's that easy. They write plans out. They set timelines up. And they tell people to execute based off of those timelines. They just got ahead of themselves. This is really a standard message. The Department of State has a Facebook page. The Department of State has a Twitter page. Hell, they probably have an Instagram page, but nobody really wants to see that anyway. If you go to any one of them... You'll see where it says, don't go to Afghanistan. But that's all too late, and that's water under the bridge. What we need to do is focus on the present and make sure that we're getting the right information to people. And yeah, the Department of State is screwed up, but it is what it is. Now, here's the important stuff. I'm seeing more and more armchair quarterbacks on YouTube. It's really out of control. For, you know from my previous video about American in, in, Americans in Afghanistan. Don't start talking about stuff you don't know anything about. It makes you look stupid. This morning I watched one of these guys read completely false information off a web page as if he had just received a personalized debriefing from the CIA. It's just stupid. And me telling you that I'm tired of hearing this kind of stuff, it won't help. All I can do is give you some sound advice. If it sounds sensational, that's sensationalism. If some dude with a headset and a big boom mic and a fake background is reading stuff from the internet that don't sound right, that numbers don't sound right, it's probably not. If you think we're being invaded, yeah, that's probably not happening, especially not through Texas. What the important thing to remember is, is that the troops on the ground want to accomplish their mission regardless of how screwed up the State Department is. And I've worked with the State Department. They are thoroughly fucked up, I'm telling you right now. Working with them, it's not a fun thing. The troops on the ground, they want to accomplish their mission and they want to go home. That's all they care about. If you're one of these people that are spouting sources, you don't have any sources. You're a nobody. Stop pretending you're not helping anyone. And all you're doing is wrapping the tinfoil hat tighter around people's heads. Stop reading unvetted stories off the internet. That's not information. You're not helping. Now, I think I'm going to leave it there because I'm pretty sure I got my point across. Until next time, stay safe and have a great day.